Good question, Harley. I've been watching some of your videos in August. Notice he's having to cut again to lose weight for a competition. Why do you never seem to have to cut and you're always lean all year long? Thanks. What do you think? What do you think? Why is doing right and lean all year long? No cutting needed. No cutting needed. People go, oh, you've got no muscle on you. It's like, I've got no muscle on me. Dude, I've got no body fat on me. I'm a cyclist, a runner. Don't do bodybuilding. But if I was into bodybuilding, obviously, obviously, th these are my arms with no weights, man. No weights. No, no consistent weight training for over 10 years now. For over a decade, no consistent weight training. Lean body fat is what most people are trying to achieve. Muscle is easy to get. Just fucking lift, man. Just fucking lift. Lift heavy weights if you want muscle. If you want to be lean like Duranida <laughs> without doing cycles and gear and all the stuff that we all know everyone's on. Not mention any names, but it's fucking obvious because their face goes from a fucking tomato all sucked up really quickly and it's like, mmm. Clan much? <laughs> Someone with a shotgun next door. Maybe Ogus. Maybe Ogus after doing it already. But nothing personal. Just share my comments and criticisms. Why don't I have to do these drastic fucking weight fucking cutting exercises? Because I don't eat the shit that all these guys eat. I don't eat the shit they're eating, man. I eat clean. I eat lean all year long. I don't eat animal products. So I don't have to have all those animal hormones creating edema and all that shit in my body. Natural or organic, it's all full of hormones, man. If you eat an organic fucking chicken corpse, that's full of naturally occurring hormones that go into your body and fuck up your, whole, your endocrine system, creating edema and all shit. And so you're puffing out, you think, oh, I'm getting muscle now, it's just edema and fat. And now you have to fucking strip all that shit off so to see some definition, you know what I mean? See some definition. I don't have to do that. Cause I've been doing this thing so long, been vegan 12 years. So, if you're into bodybuilding, this is the best diet for sure. If you're into cycling or running, it's the best diet for sure because it keeps you lean all year long relative to what you would be eating on the other shit. So if I was eating animal products, man, fuck, I'd have to calorie restrict like Ogus and all those guys. But fuck that, man, because I like my food. I don't have to calorie restrict, man. I want to eat as much as I fucking want when I want. I don't have to fucking count little grams and go, oh, there's too many fucking oats and put those, I want to fucking just eat so much food till I'm about to explode. That's why I choose the right food, man. You don't have to eat less when you're eating right. So hopefully that answers the question, man. All these guys, in 10 years time, they're going to be fat as fuck. Doesn't make them bad people, but they're going to be fat, sick, and unhealthy. And that's just how it is, man. Look at even TMW, man. They didn't even put their transformation video out because they started pff, getting bloated again and fat and puffy. Uh, wholesome all this Elliot guys again having to fucking starve and live on little tins of fucking tuna lettuce leaves to try and get cut as Duranide but hey they might get cut as me but they're not going to hold it they're not going to hold it I guess he'll be fucking ballooning out in due time again doesn't make them bad people very bad for their health I'd love to see these guys angiograms and kidney and liver tests all that stuff I'd love to see the endotoxin loads and heterocyclic amine loads I'd love to see cholesterol, I'd love to see liver function, all that stuff, because the lifestyle these guys are doing for their bodies, very dangerous for health. Very dangerous for health. And he, here's the thing, all these guys are going, but Harley, I want to get a hot girlfriend. It's like, hey man, I've got the hottest girlfriend of any YouTube fitness channel. None of these guys got a girl close to what i got, man. So just think that, guys. Is it worth sacrificing your health to get a hot chick? But hang on, Duran Ryder's that skinny 2% body fat guy, he's got the hottest chick out of any of them. Any of them! Think about it.